Good morning, y'all. Good morning, guys. It's Monday. It's 5.45 a.m. I'm getting ready to go to the gym this morning, and I'm gonna, like, sit outside for a little bit after. I had a really bad dream. I had a dream I was getting, like, shot by a, like, paintball gun. Except there wasn't paint inside of it. It was just, like, a rubber ball. And it hit my spine, and I literally felt it. Like, I felt... I felt it. I kept getting pelted and I was using my iPad as a shield and then I was like Wait, this is a dream. I'm gonna wake up And then I woke up. I've been having a lot of lucid dreams lately. I have Vivid dreams every single night and I remember them every single day. I just put in some laundry I'm headed to the gym now. I feel like I wear this sweatshirt every single time I'm outside. I'm going to do my stretching and a little bit of cardio. If you didn't know, I am recovering from knee surgery this summer. I think I'm like seven or eight months post-op from ACL reconstruction surgery and my knee was really hurting today when I was doing lunges, so that's sad. I just started running again. Crack open an energy drink. All right, I'm gonna stretch. I forgot I had this yoga mat, so let's clutch. Ow. I'm gonna start reading Atomic Habits today. I really like James Clear. I've heard a lot of good things about this book. Going to chapel. My scooter is broken, so I'm going to take the shuttle from the rivers to the cam building and I'm gonna meet Peyton and Jaden there. If you know how to change scooter tire, please, please help me. I will pay you. I don't think I've ever been this early. I was there when they opened the doors. It's commitment right here. I'm gonna clean my room. having like a like stimulation overload like I don't like how my hair sounds on the headphones uh. so awesome. I loved everyone that was there. We just hit it off really well. This is my nightly ambiance lighting and of course we literally have room checks on Thursday. <laughs> I just found out some really exciting news. It's an event that I'm going to be going to tomorrow. That is just so exciting and just a great plot twist for the week. I'm gonna get ready for bed. It's nine o'clock and I gotta get up nice and early tomorrow. For class, I feel like I was supposed to do something. Yeah, I was. Oh! In these moments, I want to turn to AI. Oh, good night. <laughs> Again. All right, it's the middle of the night. I don't know what happened, but I was maybe I ate my breakfast too fast, but I literally felt like so horrible and I felt like I was gonna pass out, throw up. I don't know what happened, but it was so horrible. 
and then it lasted like 10 minutes. I don't know if the, I like didn't cook my food properly or the coffee was giving me a stomach ache or what happened. That was so strange. And I was like, I'm gonna be late to class and I'm gonna lose participation points even though my professor is always late. I hate when professors are late. I think it's so disrespectful. And especially like when 30 of us are here on time. It's excusable once or twice or traffic or an accident on the freeway or something, but like when it's consistently late, oh, that makes me so mad. It's not even about like, I want to start class, but it's like, it's just so disrespectful. <laughs> Sorry for that 6.30 a.m. rant. But I'm going to get on the shuttle. I'll see you at class. I love in the winter it looks like I'm out here in the middle of the night. It's gonna be dark for like another hour. I guess I am a little early. People at 7 a.m. don't get here till 7 a.m. I got back from class a little bit ago. I just did some reading in my Bible that I needed to catch up on. And y'all, yep, yeah, it's that. It's that time. Little rundown of what I need to do before class because I'm saying this for my benefit as well because I need to remember. So I'm gonna make lunch. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna read my devotion, do more Bible readings, guitar practice, edit. I'm trying to edit for two hours every single day or it's something YouTube related two hours a day. Read a little bit if I have time. That's like at the bottom of the priorities. Curl my hair because our event tonight. Does anyone else have like outfits that they only wear when they're home? Like this sweatshirt, if you see me wearing it every single day, yes, I do wear it a lot. It's my after shower sweatshirt. So after I take a shower in the morning, I wear this. So it smells good all the time. And I shouldn't be wearing it right now because I've already been outside for the day. We're also at the awkward stage of weather where it's like cool in the morning, but I had a walk back from class and I was sweating on my way back. All right, let's go make lunch. Lunch time. Y'all, y'all. Okay, those are locked. Oh my gosh, Little Dipper, Little Dipper. <laughs> we are going to listen to Sadie Robertson speak right now. We just drove way out. Seems like, like literally yonder to another state. It seems like we just drove to Bethlehem and we're. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't this like look yes. like? This is giving fact? like yeah Bethlehem for sure. We're at this huge church. This is giving me camp. so excited. We made it. Look how close our seats are. <laughs> I'm shook. I'm so shook. Passion. Yeah. <laughs> we got passion right here. And I hope you know. You're so loved by your Father in Heaven. I'm sure you're loved by many people. Good morning. I had my alarm set for 4.35 so I could get up and read. I've always wanted to start getting up at four, so. I do love sleep, but Something about getting up in the morning just makes me excited. I'm gonna keep reading, but I'm gonna go to the gym at six. I'm a 90s baby.
good morning. It's Wednesday. I don't think I've spoken. Have I? I don't know. I joined a women's Bible study and it's through the church that I go to and we meet Tuesday nights or Wednesday mornings and I chose Wednesday because I want to go to the gathering that's on Tuesday. It's from 9.30 to 11. And then I had to like get my work shifted too because I have a meeting at 11 to 12. My boss is literally the best. She so chill. She's like, just come when you're done. So after I'm done with this, I just come straight back and get to work for a meeting and do some stuff. And then I have class at three. So I kind of just stay over on main campus when I go to my meeting because especially since my scooter is broken or like has a flat tire, I don't want to like walk all the way here or wait for the shuttle. Bible study done. Now I'm headed back. Such a fun morning. Ran over to the arena to pick up some purple grains and I'm going back. I left all my stuff. finish this. Wow. That's all I gotta say. Mm -hmm. I like showering in the morning because I always feel so much more energized after. Time update. I was excited to vlog this week because every week this semester there's been at least one day where I don't get up early because I just want to sleep in. But vlogging keeps me held accountable for that. One more day left after today. Just getting out of bed is the hardest part, but that's why I like to wake up early enough to where I don't have to jump out of bed right away. I like to read before I get up or honestly just like, just sit up. That's all you have to do, you just have to sit up. Because if you keep laying down, you will fall back asleep. Every year I've had a 7 a.m. There's been at least one day where my alarm just, I don't know what happened. It didn't go off, I didn't set it. Well, they always go off, so it's a my problem. But I'm just waiting for that to happen, especially because I have 7 a.m. two times a week. Also, the literal first thing that went through my mind this morning was how this book ended. I finished it last night and I just jolted awake and I was like, If you know, you know. Dude, I did not think I was gonna like this that much. And it didn't feel like it was 600 pages. It felt like it was 300. I've read books like Light Lark, that seemed like it was 7,000 pages. I'm glad I ended up buying this because I was really debating if I should buy the whole series or just read it on my Kindle. But boy, am I glad because this exceeded my expectations in every way. And I'm gonna go to Barnes this Saturday because I need to get the next one. We're in class taking a break right now. How do you get it curved? You press and hold, like drag. I'll show you her logo. How are you feeling about this? <laughs> Everybody needs to see you in that top because it's really cute. <laughs> it is. It's such a good color. Oh, okay. We're going to class and then we're going to go to Jaden's and go to the basketball game so we don't have to come all the way back with my little scooter. We're going to create... Look at we're doing something. A square? Yeah, so a square solid. A square solid. Um, it's like we have some of all different sizes here. It's better to work big than small. Yeah, that is. Right? Bird. But I'm just. Oh, this is an edge. Alright, so yeah. Okay, so you have a square. <laughs>
I didn't know we were being a stunt. Look at my barbecue stain. <laughs> Red, white, and blue, baby. <laughs> Eagle sound effect. Ah! It's freezing. <laughs> I didn't make it to the gym this morning. I'm a little upset. I thought I was gonna go every day waking up early, but that is okay. It's like 7.45. I have a class at three. Um, I have an interview at 11. This is for a summer job and not gonna lie, really want the job a lot. If I don't get it, I'll be sad, but God's plan. I was taking a break from coffee, but that break is over. Wait, did I have coffee yesterday? Did I? Also, the game was crazy last night. For my editing class, I have to make a one minute video for our assignment. So the class is about Adobe and Premiere and I use Final Cut, which is Apple. Um, just to save time, I'm gonna use Final Cut, but I do wanna keep growing in Premiere, but it's really confusing. All right, JK, the assignment says Premiere. So I'm using Premiere, but it's going pretty well so far, so I think we're good. About to go to class in a few. I had my interview this morning and we did a Bible study and now I'm just cleaning up because I can't seem to put my clothes away. Ever. I had a little disagreement about participation points with my professor on Wednesday. I don't like conflict. So the fact that we had that little disagreement makes me uncomfortable and I wanted justice, okay? No standing up for myself and others. And it didn't turn my way. So this class, I try to participate, but keep my head down. It was nothing bad, but any sort of conflict is scary for me, so. Hi YouTube. Hello. They I think they missed you guys. Yeah, Definitely. probably. 
close up of the food. If you didn't know, we're in our bison era. <laughs> bison and pasta and And Julia got in sauce. and out, which I'm low-key no. debating that looks pretty good too. Alright, prayer time? Yes. Prayer time. Give us and God we just ask that you bless this food to help it nourish our bodies and help us grow up being strong. And God, I just ask that you watch over us this weekend to keep us safe and help us to glorify you and everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's eat. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to open my window. It's going to be freezing. Oh, yeah, perfect. It's 9.30. I finished my homework when I got back from class. So I turned in all my assignments for the week. I had four, five. I had five this week, and I got them all done. So I'm excited to have a chill weekend. I think I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble tomorrow possibly. And I'm gonna do a lot of editing as well and just do some journaling and reading and have a chill weekend. So tonight I'm gonna just literally get in bed and read my book or watch a show or something. I don't really like watching TV a whole lot before bed, but I love that I don't have to be up tomorrow early or super early so I can just like chill. I will talk to you tomorrow. Oh, we also did our nails. <laughs> okay, this side is like low-key not bad. That one is bad, but I drew hearts. Okay. Good night.